fascinating because we just remodeled a building that was built, started in 1938 and finished in 1940. And one of the funny stories that came out of it because the superintendent, today we'd call that a vice president, but that was a construction superintendent at the time, they were building the building and they had made their decision on that we were going to use clean uh, fuel to fire the building and it was going to be oil. The alternative to that was coal. But there were two things we were doing with this building. We were putting in larger windows, and the windows would be uh, allowed to be open uh, for fresh air. It was going to be the first building west of the Mississippi that had air conditioning. And it would be the first building of commercial size that would burn fuel oil. Well, Iowa at the time, if you go back into the 1930s, was a net exporter of coal. And so it was the coal miners that were picketing across our front door. We have pictures of the coal miners picketing wow. because we had the audacity to burn oil. Mm -hmm. And fast forward 75 years, and as we modernized the building, as you might expect, there were major changes made. LED lighting, there were steps that were taken. We recycled 95% of the materials that came out of the building. Every carpet square, every ceiling tile, every piece of copper, every metal. And so the company has a long-standing history. The tie, if you will, back to the sensitivity around building materials, we have a commercial real estate por portfolio greater than $26 billion. Mm -hmm. A large portion of that is green uh, building. And we found out a long time ago, well in excess of a decade ago, that we could build a green building, better environmentally for, for individuals, whether it was all the, the uh, toxins that can exist in carpets and ceiling tiles, LED lighting, moving the air through the building more quickly, et cetera. Maybe it adds 10% to the cost of the building. Their recoup on that mm -hmm. is measured in months and, and not decades for certain. So that sort of gives you uh, a mindset that we've used uh, not only in, in our business, but then the value that that creates for our customers through enhanced returns and better returns ultimately for shareholders.